It's the brother Zanamoth. And first off, as always, give all honor and glory to my power, Yahweh, and his son, the Malak, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel, and peace and salutations to all the Akim priests, seers, and prophets. All right, I know you're disgusted right now with what you see, but this is another example of an effeminized, effeminate so-called black man in Babylon. And unfortunately, the entertainment business, the music business calls for this right here. So I hope this is edifying to the body and lucky how about you have shy, even though you may be disgusted. All right, Shalom. Want that role though? Yeah, absolutely. So you want a role where you? I want the roles like? that remove, take me furthest away from who I am. It's easy. I can give you fifty-five different versions of a black man. How do you want them? Jamaican, African, Spanish, poor, white, well-spoken, hood, southern, whatever. Yeah, man. Vexing, very vexing. Hey, man, look, us men, we don't move like this. Look how this man is rotating his neck. You know, moving to how he is. That's that's a woman type actions right there. Ever. So my one man show, Hall in the Hollywood, I play over 15 characters. My show is set in a therapist's office. Uh, one of the main characters is Gladys Ro Rosenberg, who's an old Jewish woman. She's a therapist. That's me. I play two trans characters in it. I play an old Spanish man. I play an old Italian guy. I play an old Jamaican woman. So for me, we're vessels. And the goal is to show humanity in all of its fullness. And I'm half man, half woman. My mother birthed me. I'm half of that. Now let's take a look into this article. It reads, cool running star Malik Yoba reveals he's attracted to transgender women of head of hosting workshop at National Trans March. Father of three Malik, 51, who describes himself as a heterosexual man, okay? All right, does this like a heterosexual man right here? All right, with makeup on? Now reading along it says, Malik said, I love all women and count myself among those who are attracted to trans women. All right, which are, which are men. This nigga's attracted to men. All right, men dressed up as a woman. All right, which will make you a homosexual, even though how you try to change it to different words, you're, you're, a, you're a homosexual, all right? And these are type of men that were in Sodom and Gomorrah. These are type of men that were banging on Lot's door, trying to rape the angels. These men are back in the flesh. And he goes on to say he felt self-shame for that. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself. All right, how are your children supposed to look at you? This is an, ex you're supposed to be an example for your children and you running around with men with fake boobs and got a rod like you, man. All right, this is off. This is off based, right? But we are back in Sodom. That's why the Lord said, all right, we are dwelling in the spirit of Sodom. All right, let's get that. Because that's exactly what this place, America, is. Okay? Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. This is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. That's right, man. Okay, spiritually dead Israelites in this great city, America, which is spiritually called Sodom and is likened unto Egypt, right? Romans 1 and 26. For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change their natural use. You see? And the men did too. Look at this, man. This is pathetic. 
is versus a grown man with makeup on, lipstick, eyeliner. Right, the man's supposed to be a strong, protective man, man, not a sissy looking punk. All right, let's get another scripture. This is Romans 1 and 27. It says, and likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust, one toward another, men with men, working which is unseemly, okay, and a recompense. All right, a recompense. And look at the partner, man. All right, this brother right here was on that show with him. All right, New York Undercover. It's got a feminine look to him too, man. All right. Now, I'm not, I don't know the deal on him, but he has a feminine look too. All right, just like this brother Malik Yoba. This is what Babylon, okay, has set for the so-called black man, man. All right. The homosexual black man is the most flamboyant of all nations, right? Because we don't give a damn about the other nations uh, uh, being in the LB and all that other stuff, right? They're supposed to, right? But our people are going off, man. And this is what the Most High would do, all right? He's going to lift up your skirt and show your sins. And this wicked nigga and his homosexual tendencies have brought him to this point. Off. This is disgusting. Okay, but this is the look. This is this is what gets you where you need to get. Right? I'm sure this man has a lot of jobs lined up, man. Right? Amalek, Esau. They're going to keep him on the payroll looking like this. Because the message that he is sending out to the younger black man who wants to get... Okay, into the uh, acting business or what have you. This is what you got to do. You got to bow down to the image of Baal. You have to bow down and sell out. You see? Right? This is what this place will do to you, man. All right? Men burning in their lust for other men. To me, the image of the black man is like they're trying to make that the black image like when you think of black men you just think of these feminine feminine like figures now it's like it's like they they taking the the legacy or like the image of the strong black man and replacing it with the feminine black man